First of all, we're just excited to have a season this year. I think that, you know, it's it's almost been two very long years, so we're very grateful to be able to be practicing. Um, we're very grateful to be able to be all together, and we actually have a scrimmage tonight, so we're very excited to play another team. Uh, we've just been doing stuff against each other at practice for, you know, the last year and a half, so um, I think probably everybody and the conference is on the same page as far as just being able to play this year. Um, so we're just very excited to be back and, and can't wait to kind of get started and, and start playing some real games and see, you know, what it is that we have to continue to work on. It's, it's kind of wild because we went from last year, we would have been probably the most experienced team that I've had since I got here to Bloomsburg, um, you know, with Peyton Spadacino, and Megan Brandt and Lauren Oath, in addition to Megan Cordoni and Emma Saxton. So losing some of those guys, um, you know, makes us the youngest team I think we've ever had probably since my first um, year here. Um, so Emma Saxton and Megan Cordoni in particular um, have returned for their COVID year. Uh, Megan's been here actually six years because she had an injury, um, and this is Emma's fifth year. So for them to be able to come back and get their master's, um, and just bring their experience to what is otherwise a very young squad is exciting for us. Um, so we're just really grateful to have them back. I think we're going to have big shoes to fill in losing Peyton Spadacino, Megan Brandt, and Lauren Oath. But, you know, we have a lot of young players that I think are capable of filling those roles as they continue to improve. There's a lot of them that are doing a lot of really great things at practice so far, um, but it's all kind of very up in the air to see who's sort of transferring that over into game situations. So I think the first step to finding out who those people are is tonight with the scrimmage. But so many people that are very capable of stepping in right away to help. I don't think that we have a particular game. Just having games this year, I think, is the most exciting part. Um, so to be honest, from anywhere from a non-conference game to, you know, Shippensburg, who's probably the most experienced team coming back in the East this year, um, is going to be exciting for us. It's been 30 some years that we never had a basketball season, so I just think um, everybody's going to be pretty pumped for every game. So we're looking forward to every, op every opportunity that we get.